at work right now said, well, you can clock in here and get your hours here. Maybe you'll get overtime. But hi, Chip. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? I'm doing pretty good. Yesterday was a really good day for me. And not because I didn't stream, I would like to clarify. Face cam on in 30 seconds. Hashtag real. Hashtag not clickbait. Three, two, one. Go with me. This is my real face and my real voice, everyone. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you, Chip, for chatting in the just starting soon screen and welcome in. I am so tired. <laughs> I don't know. I sat down on my desk and I got really tired. How was my holidays? It was pretty good. Pretty chill, nothing crazy. We didn't get a white Christmas this year. Which is kind of sad, but it's pretty hype. New Year's, I fell asleep early, and then I got woken up at midnight by people screaming Happy New Year. And Christmas, my sister opened presents while getting a foot bath. So I told that story already, but that was my holiday. I had like the worst nightmares last night. I don't know what happened. But in my first dream, it was like a horror movie hostage situation. So like, I was in a furniture store with my family and my friends. And then it got taken over by robbers. And then, instead of just like, making us sit there till the, the man's were met, they like, made us kill each other. It was fucked up. 
So I woke up from that dream at like 2 and I was like, shit, it's only 2? And then I fell back to sleep and then I had another nightmare, but I don't remember what it was about. But otherwise, today's been good. I made pasta this morning. It was very good. Went for my walk. It's so, like, tempting to, like, it's so hard to not, like, buy little treats whenever I go for the walk. Because I walk on, like, a, I live near a commercial area, so there's lots of little places to eat. So I'm like, ooh, I could get a coffee, or I could get a little treat. But I'm like, no, I must stay strong. I'm committing to the inter inter intermittent fasting. <gasps> Was that a drum roll for nothing? <laughs> I get dreams like those too. I get them sometimes, but not often. Yo! Thank you for the follow! Plus one! Thank you! Can we get some yo's? Thank you. Hog, new follower. What? Plus one! Wait. Look at this. Plus one! Hand reveal. Oh yeah, if you follow it, I'll write your name. Hashtag real. Um, what else? Yeah, so that was today. Oh, gentle reminder, check the pin chat in in the chat room. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the peace in year in review. So looking back on 2023, what was good, what was bad. So in the link, you can reply to that Twitter post with your favorite peace in underscore 17 clip or moment from last year. Sorry, I'm checking a big business email. <laughs> Guys, the art channel will be relaunching soon! Exclamation point art and chat. Okay, let's get on to the meat of the show. Stop stalling. Today we are updating the follower calligraphy journal. So if you follow the channel, I'll write your name. All, or almost all 800 of my followers are in this journal. Also, Kobobo gifted 25 subs in December so they get a sketch card. This one's more jokey than usual. So these are the followers from last month. Let's go ahead and get started with the followers from December. So numbers wise, it said I gained five followers, but I promise you it's more. <laughs> Hi wolves, welcome in. Can we get some meals? Oh wait, talking about wolves, guys. These are whoever submitted clips during month of December. Once again, thank you to everybody. But thank you to everybody who clips. Um, exclamation point clip in chat if you want more info. Whoever makes the best and most clips that gets into the best of compilation will get a Twitch gift card. So congrats, Wolves. You keep your VIP. And Wolves got their gift card last night. Smile. I popped off? Yeah. You made a good handful of clips. You also get bonus points if you title it. So make sure you title your clips that you guys make as well. Best of compilation will be posted on YouTube and TikTok tomorrow morning alongside with the Peace and Year in Review stream. So... Um, I didn't want to do the review today because I'm very tired and I wanted an extra day to like edit it or like get my PowerPoint ready, you know? Okay. Now no more stalling. You know the drill. Do you think I will mess up? Will peace in mess up? No. Yes. No, I put S, not yes. Y'all got two minutes to submit. Do you think I will mess up any of the names in the journal today? Why the... Dude, why is the prediction there? 
It always spawns in the dumbest spots. I swear to goodness. Okay. I have about probably 10 names today. Speed running. My stream didn't do as well in December, but my YouTube did pretty good in December. Mainly because I put a slash sign, not a question mark in the prediction. Dude. <laughs> um. <laughs> Get back to work. For real now. I'll make sure you guys submit your favorite peace and moment from 2023 to the Twitter link that is pinned at the top of chat, please. I need that by today. And another reason why we're not doing the year in view stream is because I forgot to make that post yesterday. So, oopsie. Yeah, because yesterday was Aaron Day because most all the shops were closed on New Year's Day. So I went shopping. You know, women be shopping. I got my government cheddar. Which did increase by $40 than last year, so pause. Because I guess at the end of every calendar year, they determine, like, how much your benefits will increase based on inflation, so I got an extra $40. Very nice. Thank you for the lurk, whoops, I appreciate it. And then I got crumble cookies. Their lineup this week, they had this blueberry crumble cookie, and then they had this, it's called a skillet, but it was a chocolate chip with a huge dollop of this vanilla frosting. Dude, it's the best cookie I've ever had in there. It's so good. I want to get another one, but I don't need another cookie. So like, I walk on the bus, and the driver, she's this like older woman, and she's like, oh my god, crumble cookies! And I'm like, yeah, you know, the shop is right there. And she's like, I've never had one. And legit, because like once a month, usually whenever I get my government check, I will buy an extra cookie and give it to the driver. Because, you know, all the bus drivers in my region are like really chill and super nice. But this was the one time I didn't buy an extra cookie. And I felt so bad. Because like, I was like, shit. This is someone who actually would have really enjoyed the cookie. Because <laughs> like, they're not supposed to take gifts from people. But, you know, who's going to say no to a cookie, you know? But, um, and I felt really bad. I was like, shit, I could have gotten her one. So, like, next time I go, I want to buy a gift card and then give it to her. Didn't Crumble admit to child labor? Okay, every single company will try to get away with child labor if they can. There's... I'll have to look into that. But that sounds like something they would do, you know? But then there's also, like, states that are advocating for, like, 13-year-olds to work at McDonald's. So it's like... It's so stupid. I hate to be one of the people who's like, there's no ethical consumption under capitalism, but... I think the biggest thing is to hold the companies accountable more than anything. But like, I haven't been to Crumble in I think like two or three months. Cause I tell myself, I'm only gonna go if I'm gonna buy like two cookies. Cause no way I'm taking like the 40 minute bus ride to get one cookie. It's not worth my time. And I'm girl bossing. Can't be wasting my time. Let's actually look at a crumble child labor. <laughs> Wait, do I want that in my search history? <laughs> Okay, crumble child labor. From December 20 wait, 2022? That's old news. US Depart this is from DOL.gov. US Department of Labor finds eleven locations or franchisees, not locations, violated child labor regulations in six states, affecting forty-six minor aged workers. Okay, so it was an instance of 14 and 15 year olds working more than the law permits or in hazardous or prohibited occupations. 
So that means in whatever states they were working in, they were allowed to work in that region or state. It's just they were working too much, which happens all the time. I'll be honest. That happens all the time. The, the division assessed $57,000 in penalties. Only 57 k Bro, that's like almost $1,000 per person, per violation. I think for any workplace violation, a company should be charged like no joke $10,000. Because... Um... Like, if they're only getting charged in this average, like, $1,000 per person they violated in terms of labor laws, they probably made, like, thousands of dollars based on how much they overworked those people. <laughs> so, there should be harsher penalties. I think if you are in violation of, like, labor laws, they should shut you down for a week. Because the only time they can really shut a place down is for, like, health reasons, right? But it takes a lot. Or in Washington State, it takes a lot for somebody to get shut down for health reasons. They usually give you, like, a verbal or written warning. And then it usually takes three infractions for them to temporarily shut you down until you fix the issue. So, they should just make them pay more. And that's also kind of the issue with, like, franchise-based companies. Is there's very much a lack of oversight at the corporate level. Now, I'm not saying I'm defending Crumble. It's obviously the franchisee's fault that is affecting the reputation in that instance. But that type of labor violation happens everywhere. I, I, I have the opinion that minors should not work. Like, I don't think any minors should work. Because it's like... A lot of the minors who do work, more often than not, they're kind of forced to prioritize work over school. And I don't think that's fair at all. For, like... Because that is like a systemic problem, right? So... In my opinion... The most common re I'm getting some water. The most common reasons why minors would feel like they need to work is to save money on their own or to like actually help provide for their family. If they feel like they need to help provide for the family, there should be more ease of access to government resources to like food stamps or rental assistance. That way the child doesn't have to carry that burden. And then also like in terms of the kids like saving up for something like buying a car or paying for their car insurance. Like, that's fine, but that's like a luxury. But then barring the minors from working is kind of like barring them from having some semblance of independence. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is why I can't, like, be president. There's so much gray areas in, like, any policy. Because I worked when I was in high school, like during one summer. It was the summer between junior and senior year, and I worked at a daycare. And it was Ite. But like, I don't think I could have ever worked during the school year. I think they should give stimulus checks, but just for kids. I think it's scam how parents can get like a tax write-off for having a child. That money should go to the actual child, not the parent. That'll be my that'll be my platform when I run for president.
Easy. That was a tricky name. The R is right here. But you know what? I didn't get got. One page done. Oh wait, I don't think I said this earlier, but yesterday I was waiting at the bus stop, right? And when I go out in public, I usually wear my mask. I also wear that one black coat that has like the rainbow stripe on it, so you know, I look queer coated. Anyway, that's irrelevant. It's like, I'm waiting at the bus stop, there's no bench, so I'm just standing by the stop. <laughs> wait, why am I doing this? I'm just like waiting. <laughs> and like this little like zoomer waits at me with the stop. And like, this kid, he looks like he's late teens, maybe early 20s, he looks like that age, right? And he keeps like glancing at me, and I'm like, um... And then like, a minute or two before the bus rolls up, he's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. And he's like, you know, I don't want to be weird, but like, I think your eyes are really pretty. They're beautiful. And I was like, oh! Huh? <gasps> and I was like, um, thank you! <laughs> Just like... I, I do not ever get hit on in public. And obviously this person is like too young for me. So I didn't want to like entertain him or anything. But like, it was awkward because, you know, I had my headphones on and he had headphones on too. So I was like, um, and thankfully, dude, a Giga Chad move would have been to sit on the bus next to me. Because like the bus was pretty crowded, but he didn't. He was kind. He didn't try too hard. And you know, I thought to myself, and then he got on like a different route that was going to the college. So he's probably like running start or like a college kid or something. So I was like, you know what? The kids are all right. But it was really cute, like endearing. I was like, oh, this person's so sweet. Cause like the only time I've been asked out in public, it was just like, People being like, hey, you want to go out? Like, without, like, any rizzing. But this guy was rizzing! Anyway. I, and I, I was also, like, thinking to myself, I was like, what if he asked, like, more questions? Because, like, the strat is, if somebody asks for your number, you say, um, no thank you. If somebody asks for your social media, I usually just say, oops, I deleted it. Because, like, all my social media is, is, like, streaming stuff. And I don't want, like, people to know I'm a streamer. You know what I mean? It's, like, on the down low. But, like, I don't think I could ever, like, genuinely pursue anybody, like, I met randomly in public. 
Like, I very much have to know somebody's character over their appearance. Oh, one more name left, everybody. Final name. Final name. the tea so skinny. So that was all the followers during December. We got two, four, six, eight, ten. Wait, I told you guys I got ten. It only shows us five because that means five people unfollowed. Which they're all naughty. We hate the people who unfollow. <laughs> Here, feel free to screenshot. But you know, how cringe would it be to unfollow? Talking about following, guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. And if you follow today, I will write your name. Holy moly. Can we hit our daily goal? We already got one today. That's kind of wild. Now we're moving on to sketch cards. So anybody who gifts a total of five subs by the end of any calendar month gets their name, or sorry, gets a custom card drawn for them. This one is for Kobobo. They sent me a picture of them rolling their eyes. So I thought it'd be funny if I did mistletoe and then a little box that says, Kobobo waited and waited, but nobody came. Like, you know, the, the dialogue box in Undertale? Whenever you defeat all the enemies, it says, but nobody came. Something like that. I thought that would be kind of fun. Okay, let's get to inking. Um, more farming. I'm changing the title. While I'm getting my pens, everybody, gentle reminder, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels. It is youtube.com slash at peacein17 for weekly stream highlights and the peacein70 clips for daily clips from stream. I also changed the PFPs on my socials, so um, don't get confused. It's the real me. I was not hacked. And if you haven't already, submit a clip to the link pinned at the top of chat. What is your best and favorite moment from 2023 on my channel? clean the stream corner of my room you won't be able to see it on camera obviously <laughs> not today <laughs> like the normal stream setup i used to have a rug under my on this corner of my room but i took it off because it got really dirty 
And I also organized my desk, finally. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with a number one liner. Because I think I want to color the whole background black, like Undertale. I don't want to do anything too bright color-wise. Okay, let's get to inking. Oh wait, this pen is busted. Hold. I'm the type of person to like keep all my old art supplies because I think like them dying is part of the texture. But I'm just coping because I don't like throwing things away because I'm a hoarder. Anyway, did I mess up the calligraphy? No, sir. I am so good. I haven't messed up calligraphy in like four months. Let's go. Okay, now time for the real work. Wait, this pen's not working. Wait. Wait, it's like actually dead. Wait. What the fuck? I'm a frick! <laughs> Hi, Moon. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? I don't have a Twitter to comment on, but my favorite moment was the Marco stream. Where you gave me a heart attack thinking I was going to lose all the channel points I just got. <laughs> that was good. I actually did clip that moment. That one will be in the best of count. But thanks for the suggestion, Moon. Okay, this pen is actually dead. And Moon, you came back. Thank you. Did you bring the milk? Okay, this... <laughs> this is a new Micron. What the fuck? I'll use a number three. You brought chocolate milk? <gasps> chocolate milk is superior. Okay. Getting the chocolate milk in the jug versus mixing it yourself with like Hershey syrup is so much better in the jug. It just tastes so much more like saturated. Okay, this three liner is like kind of too big. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with a point five for more of the details. Since my one is broken. I, I kind of wanted to add, like, bags under Kobobo's eyes to imply that Kobobo's been, like, up all night waiting for someone at the mistletoe. <laughs> Imagine being single during the holidays. Wait, that's me. That's the wrong line. I'm going the background black, so it's fine if I mess up. <laughs> it's tight.
Also, in this picture that Kobo was sent me, they have like an undercut. Like they got a fade. It looks really sick. I would get like part of my head shaved, like maybe the bottom, like where my hair would cover it. But I'm too scared. What if they like mess it up? That's like one of my biggest fear with hairdressers. It's like, what if they like genuinely like fuck up? Then you have to like pretend that your haircut looks good. And that's embarrassing. Ooh, I moved my mouse. One time I asked for a trim and it made me nearly bald. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> See, I want to learn how to like do fades. That way I can do it myself. But my friends won't let me practice on them. One day it'll happen. I'll open a salon one day. So mistletoe, from the reference pictures that I saw, they have like little berries and then round shaped leaves. So we're gonna draw happy little berries. Um, if you want a sketch card for yourself, all you must do is gift five subs. And then I'll draw you one at the beginning of February. Oh, I think we'll talk about this more tomorrow during the year in review stream. But I have some ideas for this year. One of them may include Pokemon. And it's not what you guys think. Yeah, I never went to the salon when I was younger. Looking back, it's probably because my hair was really, it was like legit matted when I was younger, which I didn't know was bad until an adult, like learning what um, cough cough neglect is. So like, I was never taken to the hair salon. The only time I went was for, um, one year in junior high for like the ninth grade dance because we had like a dance at the end of the year and my mom insisted that i got my hair done and like i hated it because like i hate the no wait no it wasn't junior high shit it was high school it was graduation damn i only went to a salon in graduation <laughs> a senior year 
Like, my mom insisted that I go to the salon. And I hated it because, like, I've never liked this sensation of a hair dryer. And, like, the salon was like, oh, honey, why don't you take care of your hair? And I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but it's because, like, I have, like, what you guys can't see. No face cam today. I have, like, really curly hair. It's, like, kind of natural. You know, I got Cuban jeans in me. So it's very brittle and it's very hard to, like, like, I didn't know what type of product I was supposed to use. So my hair was, like, never soft. <laughs> it was always really brittle and, like, tangled. But now that I know what to do, my hair is really soft and really cute. Anyway, and then I went to the salon again, I think, three years ago. And then she told me what product to use and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do the little dialogue box now. Oh, but anytime I went to the salon, they just like straightened my hair. Because I went to like get it done for senior year. And then... Because the one time I went, it was three years ago, the salon was like, the lady was like, oh my god, your hair is like so damaged, like I can't do anything to fix it. She was like, literally, I would have to only leave like four inches of your hair left, that way you can like, work on growing new hair, it's that bad. I was like, oh. <laughs> so now as a 24 year old, I take care of my hair. I just need to work on my skincare routine. And if anybody knows anything about like skincare, um, DM me on Twitter, I need help. That was gonna be one of my New Year's resolutions, but I was like too scared to admit it. My skin is fucked. I need help. And my sister, she's just like, um, just do like a mask once a week. But it's like, I hate masks. I need like the daily or like every other day routine. They do the same to me when I bleached it to high hell. Well, stop bleaching it. Stop. You should do, instead of doing, um, like, bleach and then dye, you should do, like, temporary dyes, so that way it looks really bad. But, like, pretend it's good. I think that would be a good bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do the dialogue box now. Or even better, you should do the sprays that have glitter in them. <laughs> Just kidding, that would look silly. I've thought about dyeing my hair, but I'm like too scared to commit. I don't even know what color I would do. I would probably do like ombre. But I know like ombre is so hard to maintain. Okay, so this is my dialogue box. It says Koboba waited and waited, but nobody came. Undertale. Yeah, I know this is like the opposite color scheme of Undertale, but doing the thought of doing filling in this dialogue box black and then lettering white is too much. I could do it with like a white paint pen, but not with like that small lettering. Damn, look at that line! It was almost perfect. Admit it. These lines are as clean as my Mario Kart lines. <laughs> right? Right? Little W?
Yeah, that line was not straight. That one's crooked. I'll fix it. There we go. I'm filling in the background black, so it's fine. It's fine. I think I want to do like a red ribbon around here. <laughs> I usually try to make Cobalt's cars more serious, but this one's gonna be more meany. I wanna do a broken heart. Time to start coloring. Doing gray on the glasses because Kabobo has clear frames. I kind of want to just use the Sharpies today. Because I like the idea of using more like simple, excuse me, or like primary colors. And I don't want to do a solid fill, I kind of want to fill with lines. To kind of match the like, I guess pixely appeal. I don't know why I went with Undertale. It's because I, I thought of the idea with the when nobody came dialogue this morning. I was like, oh, maybe I can go with that kind of aesthetic. Because I love RPGs.
And the picture Kobo was sent, it was like a cream coat, but I want to make it green to contrast. Have I played Undertale Yellow? No, I have not, but it's the fan game, right? All I know is that it was trending on Twitter, but I didn't click on it. I played Undertale Offline years ago, but I've seen most everything that the original game has to offer because, you know, I've seen so many playthroughs of it. Because it was popping off when I was in, like, middle school and high school. So that was when I was on the internet a lot. It's so good, you'd recommend playing it? I'll add it to my list. I definitely need more games that I can play offline. Dude, I really want to play Baldur's Gate, but I have to wait for my friend. I didn't get to smash any orcs yet. I just realized I don't have a red sharpie. I think that's gonna be a problem. Almost the weekend? Little bro, it's Wednesday. <laughs> We're barely halfway through the week. I know it's cringe, but I think little bro is my favorite, like, internet phrase now. I think it's so funny. Because it's, like, immediately demeaning. I love it. Close enough? <laughs> there, keep telling yourself that, man. What, like, sucks about, like, being an adult and being out of school is that, like, I have to make my own schedule. So, like, the weekend I still, like, work, I still stream or I still edit. Like, whenever I plan out my weekly, like, schedule for streams, I don't plan for a day off. Because a day off is usually just when I feel sick. So even on the days where I don't stream, I don't, like, rest. It sucks. But, whenever I get to a point where I can, like, schedule properly, then I will. Surely it'll happen one day. Ooh, what is really dangerous, though? Okay, not actually dangerous. I don't know why I said it like that. But, one of my favorite streaming services, Rakuten Vicky. Which is for like Asian media. So, like a lot of K dramas and like Chinese dramas and stuff. For the longest time, they didn't have an app on the Samsung TV store, but now they do. Oh no, me being able to watch K dramas on the TV is gonna be a problem. I kind of like this scratchy coloring style. Because I usually gravitate more towards clean work, but this looks kind of cool. Because the scratchy texture makes sense on the bow, 
because it's fabric that is like woven together. Almost forgot to color in Cold Bubble's eyebrows. Imagine. I've done that so many times though. It's because similar to me, Bobobo's frames like sit right on top of their brow line. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add a border to the outside. I think I'll do red. Realize the top of the mistletoe is there. Ah, it's fine. Consistency doesn't matter. Not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna draw a black line around the border. That way it's easier to color in later. And guys, you know what else is pretty clean? The chat. Whenever I run ads. Because we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a sub available. I'm going to finish this card after the ad. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few.
clean. You're gonna go in with the ultra fine tip sharpie. This is actually the discontinued extra fine point that I stole from my art teacher. This one has a different tip. And it's a lot more precise and it doesn't split like the ultra fine tips they sell now. So I just, I'm gonna keep using this until it dies. If we have any mega fans in the chat, if you buy me a discontinued pack of the extra fine point sharpies, um, I will appreciate you. <laughs> now, you can find a case on, like, eBay for $50. Like a 10-pack. I have it bookmarked just in case I ever, like, really want it.
Are you getting there? Borders are colored in. Now for the final part. The reason why I color this way, I'm doing like a thicker border with a finer tip before going in with the regular medium or fine point is so I don't go in for fine details with the actual point of this marker. That way it lasts longer. And also it'll be a lot more precise. And then I can scribble larger strokes without having to worry about clipping or going outside the lines. I probably want to add an ellipses after the second waited. I think that'd be funny. Ah, yeah, that's good. Perfect. Though. Okay, final thing I need to add the white dot to the eyes. No classic. I think I want to add some like tears. <laughs> I'll do highlighter because it's lighter for zoom in. <laughs> but thank you, Kobobo, cool for the 25 gifted in December. Hope you like your card. I'll be sending it in the mail tomorrow. 
Bobo -bo waited and waited, but nobody came. <laughs> okay, so we only had one sketch card for December, so let's review what we did today. Short stream, short stream. We updated our follower journal for December. And then, Kobobo's sketch card. Thank you for redeeming wolves. Y'all know the drill. We're wrapping up stream. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points or donate to the channel. Short stream, short stream. Um, if you want longer calligraphy, we need more followers. Smile. But you know what, this is gonna- this stream, if I ever pop off and I get like 200 followers in a month, dude, that'd be torture. We did get one follower today though, thank you to do. I appreciate it. Cause like, I didn't realize. The first time I did the writing on my followers name stream was April 2022. That was when I had, I think, 400 followers, and it took six hours. So, if I, I, I'm, I'm committing to the follower journal bit, no matter how big I get. So, like, if there's one month where I get a thousand, dude, it'll be a subathon. But only real followers, no bots. I, I said I was gonna leak some of my plans for this year. January is gonna be Wii month, like last year. February, Valentine's Day streams, and also follow through February. So meaning, finishing all the games that I didn't finish on stream. March? No Narcs. But I might do Pokemon in March. And I'm not gonna leak with the ideas, because I think the idea is pretty funny. Okay, do we have anybody else who wants to redeem? Any more redeemers or subscribers? Thank you, Wolves. Only the third? It feels like it's the fourth already. I don't know. Color. Almost did rainbow, but backwards. Okay, this red is dead. Go home, go bed. Red is dead. you holy oop 
Well, that was actually perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, the mic still works. <laughs> um, guys. <laughs> Wrapping up stream for today, stream has to write all my followers' names and sketch cards. We did 10 followers for December. Thank you all for following. And one portrait sketch card. Thank you, Kobobo, for gifting subs in December. I appreciate it. Plan is simple. Tomorrow, peace in re year. <laughs> it's hard to say because I say in twice. Peace in year in review tomorrow. Probably 11 a.m. Watching all the best moments of 2023 and going over what we did last year and what's to come in 2024 it will be a shareholders meeting tomorrow so make sure you guys have your suits on for your briefcases and then rest of the week i need to finish rpg i need to then marry me mario Kart. i want to do a little bit more racing and then maybe next week we'll start Wii Games, or the week after. I mean, we're already just starting January, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah, nobody's live, it's too early in the day. It's only 12.45. So guys, make sure you submit a clip to the Twitter link that is posted at the top of chat. It's on my Twitter profile. What was your favorite moment from 2023 on my channel? And if you aren't already, make sure you're following my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three right now. And if you want more peace in underscore 70 content, um, subscribe to the YouTube main channel for weekly highlights and the clips channel for daily clips. I thought you beat RPG yesterday. Um, I clickbaited in the title. I didn't get any freaking stars. It was a four hour session. No freaking stars because i don't know how much you've played whoops but they like baited me to thinking there was a star in an area and then there wasn't so i was like oh okay i'll do one more boss fight one more boss fight i did like i think three boss fights yesterday and there was no freaking star <laughs> so i don't know <laughs> okay I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. You're at the part where I started yesterday? Okay, so we're at the same place. Because, like, that's why, like... I understand why people don't play, like, story games or RPGs for a stream. Because it's hard to come into, like, a game halfway through. But, you know... If I start a game, I'm gonna finish it unless it's Splatoon, because I hate Splatoon. Maybe I'll do a long, long... Oh wait, actually on Friday I'm busy in the morning. Maybe I'll do a mid-length stream on Friday. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.